Hi guys, welcome back to Quran Logics, where I take a very quick look at the logics used and applied in the Islamic Quran. In this book, there are hundreds of sentences where the alleged author, a god, a highly narcissistic creator god, threatens followers and non-followers alike with horrendous punishment if they don't believe what it says in the Quran, a book claimed to be written by that very creator god slash author. Now, in fact, according to the Quran in 2.259, you must believe that a man sleeps for a hundred years, yet his food looks fresh and unchanged. Now, here I shall use this scholar called Maududi and his translation, but pick your favorite one. They're all very similar in this case. It says, take the case of the one who passed by a township that had fallen down upon its roofs. He exclaimed, how shall Allah bring back to life this township that has become dead? At this Allah caused him to die and he lay dead for a hundred years. And then Allah brought him back to life and asked him, how long have you lain here? He answered, I might have lain here for a day or a few hours. Nay, you've been lying here in this state for a hundred years. Now just have a look at your food and your drink. They have not become spoiled in the least. Then have a look at your ass. And we have done this in order to make you a sign for the people. Look how we raise up the skeleton and set the bones and cover them with flesh. And when the reality becomes manifest to him, he said, I know that Allah has power over everything. So in this sentence, an all powerful God is simply showing off, doing some, I don't know, killing a man, then reviving him after a hundred years. What is that? That is showing how skilled he is at magic. Why would he do that? Why would a God do that? Well, it says here to make this grand feat a sign for the people. Now, lots of people in mythology have been credited with reviving dead people and science is catching up. Currently, only if someone has been dead for a few minutes, I know, and not years. Now, it's a different story with food, where we can deep freeze food and perform miracles in the eyes of a 7th century Arab nomad camel herder. But how can this man be a sign? when people don't know him. They don't know if he's been lying somewhere remote, dead for a hundred years. It doesn't say here that they came past him every day, every hour to watch him be dead and to see how the food doesn't spoil. And how can people know him being away if the town he was in was abandoned, fallen down upon its roofs, as it says in the Quran. So the people who knew him a hundred years ago are long dead. Now, if a guy rocks up and claims he was dead for a hundred years and his donkey died, but his food is still fresh, I tell him to pull the other one. I imagine anyone would, except for pious, credulous Muslims. They need to believe this. What I also don't understand is the story with saving his ass. No, not that one. It's, it's the donkey I'm talking about. We know that here in the real world, the exact opposite happens to what is claimed in the Quran. In the real world, flesh dies around the bones, something I've explained and demonstrated again and again, the last time just a few weeks ago in debates with Muslim apologists. So the claim made in the Quran is a false claim, a mistake in the Quran. Is any of this logical and befitting an all-knowing, perfect creator, author, God? Why would anyone trust this God?